Hello, viewers. I'm SB. And I'm Amabel. And welcome back to Pentiment, where we are elbow deep in this journal here, trying to figure out what we think is going on. Because actually, hold on. I'm going to open this back up in just a second. Because uh, we got approximately uh, 19 hours <laughs> left to figure out what we think happened, to put a cap on this investigation before the Archdeacon shows up and takes everything out of our hands. 19 hours is plenty of time, though, I think. That's, well, that's like that's like three trans girl orgies, so I feel like, we feel are, like we're good. We are 40 seconds into the recording. <laughs> Amabelle. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> some of the people in the audience just agreed with you, and everybody else has different thoughts in their heads at this moment. Uh, so, 19 hours. The Archdeacon. We like we gotta kinda we gotta wrap this up today before before we go to bed would be nice. Mm -hmm. Uh there is the hanging thread with Lucky. Lucky's very mad about the Baron, very mad at the Baron about something. Um uh, but we don't we don't have anything here. We thought maybe we would follow him, then things kind of got out of control. We spent the night in the library. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we'll still have time to do this. Uh we have the fact that Attilia Kemperin showed up and cursed out the Baron um, when he got here. There is, I think, perhaps a suggestion of the kinds of things that the Baron does that might have caused that reaction um, with the nun that we spoke to. So I think we at least have like an inkling of what might have happened there. Yeah. We have this whole thing with Ferenc where we have... We have an object that has blood on it. We have motive uh, where uh, Ferenc was being was being pushed into performing some kind of occult thing. Um, and we have an object that's like approximately physically appropriate to the wound we found with blood on it. But also it's an object being used in an occult ritual. And I don't know for sure that we're not talking about like a... Um, like a uh, step three is make sure there's blood on the scepter kind of thing. Like this could be, we don't have forensics, right? We, we don't know whose blood this is. Yeah. Um, or even if it's human blood. So there's definitely something going on. And the two threads to follow here, I think we want to talk to Ad Adoc if we can for help with the, the cipher. Yeah. And, um, because I think that's oh, she says maybe, maybe one thread, maybe that. So we discovered the silver rod, traces of dried blood in the engravings. Oh, oh, well, we figured out the cipher because yeah, that's of the right. Grave. That's, that's, okay, that's what led us to the grave. Although we kind of didn't realize already, there were more pages here. We kind of already knew about the grave, right? Like we had we had just yeah. noticed it with our eagle eyes. Yeah. Uh, a number of magical tools. Ferenc had hid them out of fear that they had been discovered. So the Baron had threatened to turn Ferenc over to the Inquisition, most probably, uh, in exchange for uh, not doing that. Ferenc would perform this, this ritual with him. Um, I don't know. This, like this one, this one is a whole story is the thing here. Yeah. We have, we have, motive and we have uh, a weapon that that fits the wound I, I don't know that we particularly have like obvious opportunity but really anybody could have just bludgeoned the dude and run he was yeah. he was in a room alone when it happened kind of everyone in the abbey had opportunity and 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 here's here's what i was thinking because we know there, there you know there were two notes sent yeah. out that ended with the hour and the place, the chapter house. Correct, yeah. Which is where, where he was. So I'm wondering if... Um, I'm wondering if it's a case where someone sent all these notes to people who would all have a reason to kill the guy, hoping that one of them would show up, because th there was a note sent to the to the Baron. Yeah. So it might be inter interesting to find out if other people... We, we know the, the existence of, of two notes... Basically, and if we can find out if other people have notes that, that could confirm that, that there might be a. I'm not sure if something they want us to solve here. You know, if there's like a 
a secret person behind the 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 murderers and what murderer and whatnot. But um, I don't know. That is just a thought with Do notes we... being sent out to people. No, you're absolutely right. Do we have um? We have the note from Sister Matilda, and there was a note from the bear in the Baron's pocket. Well, telling no, him to be there. No, what I'm wondering is, do we have like folded in our little book here a version of that note that the notes that we can that you and I can look at right now? Oh, I don't know. I don't think we do. Can you go to the Sister Matilda entry? Um, that's what I, I was just looking. Oh, at. is that is that all we have for that? Um, go back a couple pages. Okay, let me look. Uh -huh. da, da, da. So he did this. This is she told us the story. Yeah. She denied being responsible for his death. Of course she would. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then this is oh, sorry, we're moving we're oh, moving oh. the Gertner's thing here. This is this okay, is so all it's, the it's notes. Just, this is all we're given. Yeah. Okay. Ah, apparently I can zoom in further if we would like. Um I'll, what I'm thinking is as far as like provenance for those notes, they were mm -hmm. in a very ornate sort of writing. Yeah. And I'm wondering, like, there cannot be very many people who would be capable of having written them, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, first of all, literacy in just kind of a general sense. But secondly, specifically the script on those on those notes is very ornate and very precise. And I'm wondering if we can narrow down who is who is behind them, how how much we can narrow down who is behind them from that. Like, does it have to have been... I mean, I'm assuming it's someone, you know, it is someone within the 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 monkery, the, well, within I, the ranks of the monks, you know? Yeah, I was thinking, and this is like, uh, this is a little, um, I don't know if this is trustworthy. Um, this is a good way to think about this. But the the stuff was so precise and it was so uniform and there was so much extra detail on, on many of the letters, like the M's had those little diamonds in the lower left corner and stuff. Um, I'm wondering if it was uh, perhaps not written, but printed. Hmm. Because there is a family of typesetters at the village. Yes. And I don't know like, if it would be there's a little setting. there's a little bit of a problem there where like the letters are precise and identical because they're a font in a video game. Yeah. So what I am reading as these things were typeset might be the problem of them literally having been typeset because that's how you make letters appear in a video game. Uh, rather than rather than them supposed supposed to have having been typeset within the you know diegetically. Yeah. Within the diegesis. Anyway, it's lunchtime, right? Do we just have lunch or are we... I think we have to go find someone to have lunch with. It's meal hours. Okay. Where's the widow's house? The widow's house is noted in the is in the entry. I saw it here. Next to France Bowers. Okay. Maybe we see if we can go meet with Atilia and have lunch with her? Yeah. Does that seem reasonable? Uh, do, do, do. Sorry about my brain, everyone. Okay, here. And it does have a it does have a symbol on it, so I think we can do that. So we come down from the abbey. Uh we wanna like Okay, yeah, I'll I'll totally remember that. That's happening. Let's go. Let me ask you this. Where do you think we are on your theory that it was um and I th I think a very a very obvious, you know, red herring if not uh that it was Ursula. Uh really we need to find if Ursula got a note. Ah, yes, I mean, yes, yes. That that will tell us. I thought know. I would just come by here again cuz these the aqueducts the aqueducts have come up so many times. There's yeah. something going on. I want to know who this person is that we saw. Because, like, it's got to be relevant, right? Yeah. Has to be. Paul. Help. Um, hello. Paul, right? I don't think we've talked before. 
I'm Andreas. I'm staying with the Gertners. Because Paul, Paul mentioned the person, right? Am I remembering correctly? Mm-hmm. Oh, but you're not a farmer. Why are you living with farmers? Well, they're letting me board with them while I work in the Abbey Scriptorium. You're a monk? Uh, I do not think that Andreas wishes he was a monk. No. No, I'm an artist. Oh, like you do drawings. Well, drawing, painting, calligraphy. If it goes in a book, I can put it there. Oh, is that... How do you get money? Uh, do we do we not understand the I feel like it, I feel like this is a strange answer. Yeah. We say this, right? Yeah. I help I help the abbot with the scriptorium's commissions. I don't know if Paul's going to understand all of that, but art is art is a job, just like being a miller is a job, but it's also a calling. Beauty brings me closer to God, apparently. I, we didn't get a choice on that one. Sure. I didn't... My dad says... My dad says drawing's stupid. It's not worth anything. Aww. Okay, so do we just... I feel like... Mm, I feel like I would do this, right? Whisper back, your dad's wrong. Yeah. Your dad's wrong. Not where he could hear. Oh, he's busy. He's doing an idle animation. <laughs> do you like to draw... Uh, don't... We're gonna pet you in a second. <laughs> do you like to draw, Paul? Yes! More than anything. But I have to do it where dad can't see. He gets mad. Yeah, my dad doesn't like some of the things I do either. That's, That's why I don't tell him. <laughs> Can I tell you a secret? Sure. Sometimes I draw on the ruins in the meadow where dad can't see. Um. Do... <laughs> This is true. Do, uh, but I want to. I want to get information, right? Yeah. Okay. What do you draw? Cats, mom. I don't know stuff. I probably shouldn't be talking to you. Dad won't like it. Oh, okay. You're probably right. I'll go. Until later, Paul. And hey, keep drawing. All right. Well, okay, we didn't get a ton of information out of that conversation, but I do feel like we may have uh, may have done some good for that kid, so. Um. Oh. Oh, look at that tail! Yep, yeah, that's a good dog. I mean, we're here. We may as well. Evening. You're the Gertner's border, aren't you? How could you tell? Well, you don't smell like sheep. Quite unlike the Gertners. <laughs> Immediately threaten him. <laughs> uh, I mean, we basically have to... I, I'm gonna... This, this feels like a weird level of reaction as well to me. It was like, he didn't really yeah. say... He just said they smell like sheep. I don't, I don't know that this is an insult. <laughs> I think he means it as an insult, but I, I would prob I would probably go with the top one before the middle one, that's for sure. Okay, yeah. I don't love any of these. Well they're farmers. You expect them to act like kings? He didn't say anything about the way they act, is the thing. A little dignity wouldn't hurt them. They bleat like sheep when time get, times get hard. Only Ava's got a backbone. Okay, now I'll fight him. How is she, by the way? <laughs> What does she matter to you? I'm getting standoffish. I'm only curious. She used to bring their barley to me, but Peter insists on delivering it now. A shame. She'd shown some curiosity about the mill. I'd hope to foster that. Yeah, is there something special about it? Uh, she's the only windmill in Bavaria, did you know? 
constructed in exacting detail from Dutch specifications. The gem of the Alps, and none of the incurious dolts here can appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, yes, I'm sure it's the peasants who are the problem. I should be going until I like this face. Yeah, okay, fuck this dude. His kid's cool, but he sucks. I hate him. Frog's cool, too. Good evening. Uh, uh, forgive me, I've forgotten your name. Andreas Mahler, master artist. Oh, a master at such a young age. That's impressive. That's some Wiley E. Coyote uh, super genius. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> energy. Uh, it's impressive. Oh, indeed so, yeah. You must be very well educated and hard working then. <laughs> I'm going to be fake gracious about the half lie I told. Oh, yeah. Kind of you to say so. Uh,. I apologize. We didn't even get properly introduced. You must be Elsa Mullerin? Uh, yes, that's me. I heard Clara and Ava had an artist boarding with them. That must be very exciting. Uh, yeah, they've treated me very well. I'm, I'm nice to them. Uh, perhaps Ava more than Clara, hmm? Oh, I, I only meant living on a farm among the townspeople. Isn't it very lively? Uh, Ill Peter. Okay, Ill, Ill Peter is the Peter the Elder. Um, I feel like this is sort of, both of these are kind of talking shit a little bit. You know, so far it seems a life like most others. Oh, but have you not traveled much? Artists go on a wander yard, yes? There must be many differences in the way people live. Oh, the people in Florence are very cultured, for certain. It has such history. My, so much out there. But I have to take care of my darling Paul. He's so shy. I pray the Lord may someday bless us with a daughter. Elsa? Have you finished with your gabble? There's work that needs doing. Yeah, fuck this guy for real. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry. I have to get to my labors. Oh, of course. I apologize if I've bothered you. Until later, Mistress Mullerin. Until then. Okay, so yeah, they're, they're a little bit fancy folk. Uh, we're going we're gonna to say Lenard did it, right? <laughs> That's my new plan when the Archbishop shows up. <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. Hey, Thomas, what's up? Uh, so we want to go this way. Do we... Okay, friends we've met. We haven't met Brigitte yet. I would wish you a good day, Andreas, but... I fear that would be a lie. Has something happened? Martin's gone missing. Cat is beside herself. Right, Martin. I totally forgot about Martin. Uh huh. So, do we probe for information about how she feels about Martin, or do we do we share information here? I. Here's the thing. Martin definitely didn't do it. He's he's such a dipshit. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Martin sucks, but I, th I, I think he's also in too incompetent to have pulled this off. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to say, but not you. Cat's beside herself, yeah. but not you? I'm very worried for him, but this is not the first time he's run off. Chicken! <laughs> he said he wasn't feeling well this morning, and I just knew he had another scheme planned. I'm sure, I'm sure his mother knows where he is. He speaks more to her than he does to me. Even though I am his wife. I'm, I'm sorry. They've always been close. They've had to be to endure... Well. To endure France. How did you know? 
Well, you haven't said a word about him. That absence is telling in its own way. France is a difficult man and very hard on Martin. It's made him difficult, too. So difficult that he could commit a murder? This is a crazy thing to say. <laughs> no, no. There is a storm cloud over Martin, but it rains only on him. He would never hurt someone. I, I can't imagine it. What are you talking about? Uh, it's nothing. An idle question. I'm sorry to have disturbed you. I should probably get back to my cho my chores. Franz will be angry if he sees me shirking. Or talking to an unmarried man. Uh, yeah, of course. God willing, Martin will come home soon. He will. I must trust in Providence. Be well, Andreas. It's interesting that there was a non-optional lie there. I don't know that I've ever actually seen that in another game. No. It makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do wonder to some extent if it's like, if it's a thing where um, there were several options there, but we were disqualified from picking all but one of them because of things we've said or done or choices mm, we didn't make. That could be. And so we just got the one that was left over. Hmm. These wood carvings are quite curious. And adorable. Actually, hold on a second. Before we talk to the Widow Kemperin, who, again, is drawn in a slightly different art style than a lot of the older people, right? Yeah. Ill, uh, Ill Peter is drawn in the same style she is, too. I like I like that style. I don't know what uh, what to call it or what the uh, sort of the providence of it is. We should probably actually talk to the rest of the people on this map, because I think once we talk to the Widow, there's a chance we'll be sitting down. Hello, yeah. Master Mahler. I'm sorry to cause you trouble, but have you seen Martin recently? He wasn't feeling well, so I let him sleep until prime. First hour of daylight. Also, leader of the Autobots. I let him sleep all the way until the first hour of daylight. Amabel, if I had been born one second earlier than I was, I don't know how I would have managed. But when I came to check on him, he was gone. You know, I did see Martin running through the meadow, but it's a delicate situation, and I'm not sure how I should handle it. These are both true. I mm -hmm. think the people in town are going to be eager to to jump to blaming Martin for basically anything that's gone wrong. And I know yeah. that Brigitte is not, but I think other people other people probably do not have even as positive an opinion as she does. So I think we do need to sort of protect Martin a little bit here. Yeah. I didn't get a chance to speak with him, and I don't know what he was up to. It could be entirely innocent, but if I tell Kat that I saw him fleeing the Abbey, she might think I think her son killed Lawrence. She's, she's his mother. I don't think she'll think it. No, but the I second am, one... That's, yeah, I am worried I, she'll yeah, think I, I like think having it. that option. Yeah. That's really neat. And that could cause her undue stress. I am fine getting embroiled in their problems. I've sort of already embroiled myself in their problems. Oh, yeah. But I He's... don't want to cause her undue stress. It's Martin who I love causing stress to. <laughs> and it wasn't Martin who did it. I don't really feel like... I mean, he just doesn't strike me as the murdering type, for one thing. Also, yeah. I don't think he's got the competence. I don't think either of these... <laughs> Yeah. I wish I knew more about what's going on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this one because mm -hmm. I don't think Kat deserves our honesty. I think Kat deserves our protection. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Kat. I haven't seen him. And I didn't. we didn't let on to Brigitte that we had either, so we're not. that information's not over here. Did, have we told anybody that we saw him? Uh, yes. The I think Baron's we did, man. right? Okay, shit. Shit and also fuck. All right, fine. Sorry, Cat. I haven't seen him. Uh, why do you ask? Well, he has a history of making poor decisions. Like stealing? Baron Rothvogel's manservant believes Martin may have stolen some of the Lord's rings. Lord have mercy. 
that must be where he's gone to sell them. So she she immediately jumped to the conclusion that he did in fact do it. Oh, Martin, well, that he how stole could you? stuff. Not, yeah, not yeah, that. yeah. Do you know where he's likely to have gone? Uh, the last time he ran off, it was to Innsbruck. But I don't know. I don't know. He could be anywhere. But what if he's attacked on the road? I'm I'm sure he'll be all right, Cat. I pray to God that you are right. I'm sorry. This is not your trouble. Thank you for speaking to me. Was there something else? I don't want to impose, but... If it wouldn't be too much trouble, please let me know if you see Martin. I'm so worried for him. Uh, yeah, of course, Cap. Thank you, Master Mahler. Be well. Uh, oh, I meant to ask. Would you care to join us for a meal? Um, perhaps another time, Cat. I need to speak to the widow before I... Yeah. Do we want to talk to Franz? No. No. All right, before we actually speak to Attilia, I'm going to quickly assess her domicile. That's supposed to be Renig's cane. Strong, sturdy, and here the head has broken off. The break looks recent. Could Attilia have used this cane to kill to kill Lawrence? Uh, Attilia, your husband's cane is broken. Do you remember how that happened? How should I know? Everything in here is broken and falling apart. The head broke off at some point. I don't remember how. Hmm. All right. Ha. Okay. Well, that's definitely something. I don't know. Like, if we could, if we found the head of Is the cane and the had... Is that all the conversation we have for her? Well, no. We haven't spoken to her okay. yet. Okay. Um, if we found the head of the cane and it had blood on it or something... I'd be more inclined to... This This really could just be anything. I'm not jumping to no. anything there. You want something? Oh, maybe that is all the conversation we have with her. Yeah, well, I guess I'm glad we came over here and found that, but I don't think she did it. Hmm. All right. Well, if we eat with Martin's family, maybe we will... Maybe they'll know something about the widow, because they live right next to her. Yeah. Okay, just making sure we'd seen the rest of the map here. Is that invitation still available? Uh, yeah, Andres is fine, really. Um, is your household well? I mean, aside from the situation with Martin. Oh, um, no one is ill. Uh, after the storm, I meant. No damage? Oh, no, we are blessed not to have suffered. We see so many storms in the spring. They're inconvenient, but I like them, even though I should not. Sorry. There I go, speaking out of turn. Yeah, France has really, um, really got these people on edge. Yeah. What? Y you didn't ask for my opinion, so I should not have offered it. I'm happy to hear what you think of the weather, Cat. Please, speak your mind. Hmm. All right. I like it when the storms blow through, when the wind howls down the mountain passes. It feels like the the Lord. This is a big space. God Himself. Okay. It feels like God Himself has come down to touch the land. Terrifying, but thrilling to be in His presence. Oh, where did that come from? You're usually so reserved. Uh, it's nothing. Just my thoughts. Was there something you needed of me? I just wanted to know how you were doing. Oh, I I'm fine. I was just about to check on the sheep. And how are the sheep? <laughs> you ask a lot of questions, Master Mahler. Or, Andreas. Well, you know, I'm a curious man. Oh, sorry, uh, sorry, I didn't mean anything by it. 
they're near to lambing. The sheep. So we sh shirred them? Sheared them. Sh yeah. Nope, it's not going to fix that. Shirred them is the word. <laughs> Cleaned the wool. Now it must be something. So shirred is the the appropriate regional and whatever dialect for sheared. Or maybe shirred is just like the proper, uh, what do you call it? The industry term. Yeah, I am not. Um, it is to gather uh, an area of fabric or part of a garment by means of drawing or elasticized threads in parallel rows. Uh, no, that doesn't. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Seems like a lot of work. It is, but I don't mind it. I get to see my sister-in-law, Hetty, and her daughter, and the Gertner girls. I like to be out of the house. I can imagine. You all spin together. Yes, the work goes quickly when it's shared. And it's always a lively conversation. Yeah, I bet. Well, you all must know everything that happens in town, then. Oh, not me. I keep to myself. But Hetty and Ava, people like to talk to them. Do you want to observe? Yeah, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. The spinning? I'd like that. Uh, good. We'll, we'll be at Johan Bauer's home. Come by in the morning or afternoon and speak to Johan. He will be there to observe. Sometimes Otto comes, too. I should return to my tasks. It was nice speaking with you, Andreas. You too, Kat. Take care. Oh, I meant to ask. Okay, so should we now join them for a meal? We should now join them for a meal. Yeah. All right, I'm into it. How kind of you. Please leave the way. Well, it's nothing. Brigitta and I will be glad of the company. Bless us, O Lord, and these your gifts, which we are about to receive from your bounty. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I like the baby. <laughs> <laughs> You're a respectful man, Andreas. Your parents discipline you. <laughs> I kind of like, I want, I, we're, we're, I'm, yeah. Mm, executive decision. We're saying the middle one. Ah, uh, yeah, yep. they tried. Yep. How do you think I learned to throw a punch? Mm, I guess you think you came out all right in the end, don't you? Hmm. You're asking me, the thick to well behaved, the, the trick, trick. That makes sense. Okay, the trick to well behaved children's a firm hand. Yeah. What do we got? We got fish stew, hand salmon hand pie. Two, oh. two bits of salmon hand pie. I, I would uh, like a hand pie. That sounds nice. Spare the rod and spoil the child. That's what the Bible says. Yeah, well, it also says fathers shouldn't provoke. <laughs> I, honestly, though, there, there is a part of me that just wants to be like, eh, the Bible says a lot of things. Yeah, I, let's go with that one. That's you don't, you don't, th you don't think the more specific. No, I, okay. I, I, I like the Bible says a lot of things. <laughs> All right. Uh, does it say anything about being a good guest? You're upsetting Wolf, France. <laughs> uh, maybe if Wolf cried less, Martin wouldn't have felt the need to run off. Dude. What? I'm sorry. I I'll try to keep him quiet. Wolf doesn't like any of this. Wolf knows Wolf has a good read on France, I think. Oh, this goddamn racket is giving me a headache. Oh. <laughs> There you go, sweet boy. <laughs> Finally. It's too goddamn cold in here. Cat, you'll get some firewood after the meal. Oh, well, I was good. that's what I was going to eat anyway. Yes, of course. Only... What? You've got an excuse now? Little tummy ache? Need to lie down? Well, I worry Attilia will come back. The widow Kemperin, has she been bothering you? I found her collecting firewood on our land. I asked her to leave because... Because I pay the goddamn taxes on that firewood. And she shouted at me, quite forcefully. 
She does seem to enjoy doing that. Well, you know, she's going through a difficult time. Soon she'll have to forfeit her home. Well, that's not my fucking problem, is it? If she wanted to keep her house, she should have had a few more sons. Oh. That lies in God's hands, doesn't it? Cat did? Why couldn't that old bat? You tell him, Cat. Again, wolf. Sorry, sorry. Come now, little bear. It's all right. You're a good boy, aren't you? I think we don't engage directly with France. In, in any case where we have a chance to be nice to the women, we yeah, do that instead yeah, in front of him. That. Yeah. Both because, I, I will admit, I'm only partially doing it because I think it's the nice thing to do for the women. I'm also, I want to do this because I think it is the thing that will upset France the most. <laughs> You're a marvel at soothing him, Brigida. I have many opportunities to practice, I'm afraid. I wasn't done speaking. Uh, of course, I'm sorry. Now, you tell him, Cat. Tell him how you chose to have a son and did. <clears throat> I prayed daily for a son, and then I had Martin. That's right, just as I told you. You and Hetty both. If my brother's wife can make the can make the Lord hear her, that old witch should have done the same. I hope Martin's all right. He usually comes back by now. A uh, shiftless good-for-nothing malingerer. He better come back so I can beef the pants off him. I know this is a heavy moment. I'm sorry. The phrase beef, <laughs> beef the pants off him is just very funny. <clears throat> I, I actually needed that, that bit of levity, though, because this is, this is actually, this is really, um... Yeah. I had a, um... Perhaps this is not an appropriate moment to, like... <clears throat> I had a... Drunken, abusive, angry father. And I have to be honest, I am finding even reading Franz's lines out loud to be physically unpleasant. They taste bad in my mouth. Yeah, I oh, I come from a long and illustrious line of abusive alcoholics, so I, I have I have the same. Yeah. Yeah, this is <clears throat> yay trauma. <laughs> Johan would never let his boy get away with this shit. My brother knows how to raise an obedient son. Speaking of malingering, we've all got work to do. Enough sitting around. Middle? Middle, yeah. Well, thank you for welcoming, at your, welcoming me at your table. It was illuminating. Good of you to come. Oh, okay, that was dinner, not lunch. Okay. I, I thought we were at the lunch hour. No, that's right. We had lunch with the yeah. Okay. The, yeah. Yep. 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 So we so we do have essentially another day. Want to see if the widow Kemperin is asleep yet, or if we can press her about the firewood thing? I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of what I figured. Uh, sorry. So we can still do the spinning bee, right? The, okay. the our active our active objective was attend the bee. All right, and we're in that out. Yeah, let's do uh, that. Johann Bauer up, is. So this is Franz Bauer. Johann Bauer's farm is just down that way. Okay. Apologies that I have to look at the map every single time, but. You are is there anything fine. else going on on this map? There is not. Oh, right, the bees. Ah, but the power house is, uh, is empty. It is uh, locked, rather. Maybe oh. maybe on the morrow. Because, yeah, it is like time yeah, what, to sleep. Because she, oh, yeah, she said morning or afternoon. Yeah, she said, yeah. But um, then, it marked, okay. then it marked it as our active objective, and I was like, oh, huh, maybe I misunderstood. Yeah, so we'll go over in the morning, then. Yeah, so I'm just basically going to run around town one time real quick just to see if anybody's up, if anything's happening. Okay, that makes sense to me. 
if we can have an encounter, we should. For example, if we can encounter Schlau. Yes. You should be inside, Schlau. Pussy cats belong inside. Oh, I bet Schlau feels differently about that. Well, Slow is wrong. Slow is wrong. More ruins. I wonder if they're from the old Roman colony. Uh, hey, okay, so this is where the Stoltzes live. Here there is a flower. Tassing is lucky to have so much woundwort naturally growing. I had to buy it back in Nuremberg. What exactly do people do? It's like, I know woundwort is generally supposed to be, like, medicinal. What oh. exactly were people doing with it, though? Is it something you chew, or do you, uh, like, grind it up and apply it topically, or...? This is something I can find out from our friend, Dr. Internet. Whilst you are... Ooh, hello. Andreas, Christ, there you are. Brother Wojslav, what's the matter? No, actually, lead with care. Are you all right? You look terrible. No, it's the Archdeacon. He's come early with an entire... Oh, fuck. With <laughs> He's come early with an entire retinue in tow. That is actually very bad. He's questioning everyone who knew the Baron and Brother Piero. I've already told him the little I know. But he expects to speak with you tomorrow at Nuns. He requested you specifically. He's been informed of my investigation, then. Oh, it's no secret you've been poking about the town in the abbey, sticking your nose in the rot. I hope your prying has borne fruit, or Piero's neck will meet the sword. Yeah, I'm well aware of the stakes, thank you. If only I'd had a couple more days, or frankly one, one more day. Well, whatever happens, Piero knows you've been working hard on his behalf, and he's grateful for it. Only... Andreas. Yeah, what is it? It's just... You know as well as I do, the Baron was not a good man. Now, I'm not saying he deserved what he got, just... You think hard about what you tell the Archdeacon, and who you tell him about. You understand? Hmm... I don't think he's worried about himself. Yeah, I'll go to the top one. Yeah, and I don't I don't want to threaten. First of all, no. I think I kind of like him. And secondly, I, in this situation, I don't want to threaten him. You're worried about what I'll tell him about. You're worried I'll tell the Archdeacon what I've heard of Sister Matilda. All I'm saying is, if in your searching you heard anything about her, I'd ask you to keep it to yourself. You mean Sister Matilda? But why would you... Why slav your vows? Keep your voice down. All, all I ask is that you keep it to yourself. It's nothing to do with the Baron anyway. Yeah, I'll, I'll do what I can to protect Sister Matilda from censure. I don't, like... The, the Baron's attack doesn't seem to have any relevance to um, no. what actually happened anyway. All right, that's all I would ask of you. I should return to Kearsau. The Abbey will be having a fit right about now. Be well, Andreas. I will pray for Piero's deliverance tonight. You should as well. Yeah, apparently. Um, so, Woundwort, uh, first of all, when I googled Woundwort, uh, it had a bunch of entries about something called Gundam. So I had to go through all those to get to actual wound wart, which, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a plant that um, is often reputed to cure aching joints when made into an ointment and oh. have uh, antispasmodic and sedative properties when taken internally. Okay. Is there a Gundam called wound wart? Apparently. That doesn't seem appropriate. <laughs> See, here, here's what I know about Gundam. Absolutely nothing. I, I am... So it's just completely... Well, I mean, of the two of us, you're the anime expert, so I'm, I'm surprised to hear that. Wait, how am I the anime expert? You have definitely seen more anime than I have. I don't know. 
How dare you? The- for, actually, how dare you? How dare you put such a Excuse curse me. on me in front of literally fives of people? You're the one that showed me uh, Fooly Cooly and uh, the Cowboy Bebop. Okay, well, those don't count. They're good. We're going to sleep, right? <laughs> yes, we're going to sleep. I still have my sleeping cap. No no child has yet stolen this one. I will not put the covers over my body, though. <laughs> Very standard video game stuff. This is cute. Oh, oh, this is a cute, gonna... a cute representation of this. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Is there a reason to make me do this? Are we not just going to the center? I don't seem to be able to interact with anything else. Oh, here we go. Andreas, when are you coming home? Uh, Dad, I'll, I'll be home soon. How's business? Okay, so do we feel Andreas... Andreas has a bad relationship with his dad, right? Yeah. Sort of a not 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 I think like an actively abusive one, but maybe sort of a um there's just no depth there. Yeah. How's business? Good. I'm finishing a commission for the Imhoffs. You can see it when you get back. And then you can show me your commissions when you open your workshop. Y uh, yes, of course. You're not going to quit this like you quit university, are you? Is yeah, Andreas, like, afraid for his father's approval? Or is there a relationship oh. more sort of, like, openly antagonistic? Here's the question. Yeah. How how does he feel in the context of a dream? You know? Yeah. I feel like it would just be the, the normal thing, but exaggerated. Yeah. Maybe that's how my okay. dreams are. Well, I feel like, you know, there are people that I'm a lot more scared of in a dream, for example, than I am in, in person. Interesting. They have different interactions with. I'm going to say, I'm going to say no, of course not. Like, Andreas yeah. does not get along with his dad, but like he, but like his dad is sort of like overhangs him at all times, right? His father is yeah. an overbearing figure in his mind. Good. If it weren't for the work I did for the rector, you never would have had the opportunity. Most people never get a second chance after they throw something away like that. I know, Dad. Well, we'll see you when you get back. Sure. All right. I actually really like the character work uh, with with the writing and and yeah, the, me too. Uh, it's it's really strong. Much stronger than I'm used to in video game writing, I would say. So, Sabine, this is the woman, right? The woman that we're yeah. supposed to... Yeah, that's a nice hat. I'm into it. <laughs> oh, it's you. Okay, wow, that's... That speaks uh, just barrels. Well, I only have the picture of you, the one my brother Daniel made. I really don't have any idea what you're like. Do you really want to get married to a stranger? Why should that matter? Right. Everyone keeps saying that. That's why I'm saying it to you now. Because I'm saying it to myself. Exactly. <clears> hmm. <throat> I'll see you soon, Andreas. For real, I mean. I suppose that's true. Until then. Welcome back, Andreas. It has been too long since you have graced this court with your presence. Apologies, Your Majesty. My mind has been preoccupied by a tragedy at Kearsau Abbey. What manner of tragedy? The murder of a nobleman, a close friend, uh, a close friend of the Prince Bishop of Freising. Freising, probably. My friend, Brother Piero, is the abbot's only suspect. I know that he could not have done it. How do you know? 
Examine your assumptions, my son. Well, in addition to having no motive and violence not being part of his character, he's like literally not physically capable of the act. He is of limited strength and has a palsy in his hand that makes holding a paintbrush difficult. It's inconceivable that he would have the strength and resolve to kill the Baron with a blow to the head. Resolve, I am less certain of. The physical strength, though. A whole lot of inconceivable shit happens on this hell of an earth, Andreas. Okay, that's fair. I... Uh, I just don't believe he could have done it. There has to be a better explanation. So, what do you intend to do about it? Well, when I'm brought before the Archdeacon, I'll tell him that I know about other people who had motives to kill the Baron. I have to believe he'll see there are much more likely suspects than Piero. Why have you taken this task upon yourself? Well, I have to save Brother Piero's life. He has no one else to help him. Your love for and devotion to him speak well of your character. A man who is humble before his elders honors also his gods. <laughs> of course you'd say that, old man. He is right, though. If Andreas doesn't help him, no one will. Exactly. Look, I understand why the brothers and sisters cannot act against the abbot, but I must do something. Why does that shit for Brains Abbott care about the death of a useless fart like Lawrence Rothvogel anyway? Uh. I mean, look, powerful people get upset when other powerful people are murdered. This could for threaten sure. the existence of the Abbey. Oh no, the Abbey. Who gives a damn about those hypocritical assholes? I missed him. <laughs> In any case. Andres' ability to prevent Piero's death depends on the judgment of the Archdeacon. Wise or foolish, corrupt or just, the Archdeacon will be the first and possibly final arbiter of Piero's guilt. Andreas must win the Archdeacon to his side using the tools favored by men such as him. Yeah, it's probably... <laughs> Not really honesty, but the appearance of honesty... Not really reason, but the aesthetic of reason. Wisdom, defined in a very certain way. I mean, let's be yeah, honest. It'll, Authority. It'll, it'll, it'll cast spells better. And despite your talent, you are merely an artist. He has been invested with power by the Prince Bishop of Freising. You have no authority with him. Yeah, so... Quote unquote reason. The, reason appearance, next, yeah. the appearance of reason. Ha! When's the last time you met a man who was truly ruled by reason? Wisdom? Wisdom can be shared, but the audience may not comprehend it. Honesty? You must be honest in all things, Andreas, but many are not willing to accept the truth. And the cost of honesty can be. Hi. Gee, I wonder why Socrates would <laughs> have such an opinion. Well, if reason, wisdom, authority, and honesty cannot triumph, what am I left with? Hope. Lies. Truth. And above all, faith in providence. Well, what do you plan to tell the Archdeacon, Andreas? There were other people in Kersau and Tassing who had motives to kill the Baron. Sister Matilda was badly beaten by the Baron for... We're not going to tell him this. Yeah. Why was the Baron not punished for that? Well, it seems the Baron was beyond the reach of justice, at least at the time. Mother Cecilia sent Sister Matilda away to a hermitage to recover away from the rest of the nuns. How did you come to this understanding? I crept into the Abbey's library after dark and investigated the nun's admittance re records to learn the sister's name. Once I knew the name, I confronted Matilda, and she admitted what happened. You risked a great deal by trespassing in the library. Right, Andreas might have seen the monks and nuns fucking. Scandalous behavior. Not that Andreas would know anything about that. <laughs> Lorenz couldn't get his way with a nun, and he almost killed her for it. 
I wish I could say it's surprising. Sister Matilda's motive is a powerful one, but by what means might she have killed the Baron? Yeah, I haven't found a plausible weapon yet. I don't think that's what happened. Motive alone will not convince the Archdeacon. You must find a plausible weapon she could have employed. Are there any others you suspect? Uh, Prior Ferenc feared the Baron would report his occult interests to Inquisitors. How so? Prior Ferenc and the Baron shared a fascination with the occult texts. The Baron was pressuring the Prior into performing a ritual for him while he was visiting Kersal. When Ferenc refused, the Baron threatened to turn him into the Inquisition. How did you come by this knowledge? I found written evidence. A letter from Ferenc to the Baron in which he discusses all of these matters. Oh, it is a dangerous thing, a monk dabbling in the occult. His very soul could be in danger. Forget the soul. He could have been defrocked, excommunicated, even killed. All for a little curiosity. Better to stay stupid and ignorant. That's what I say. We are well aware. <coughs> Damn, Beatrice! Pardon me, there's a lot of reading. Is curiosity such an awful thing? No, but it was knowledge of the nature of good and evil that caused the fall of man. The seeds of some corrupting fruit may lie sleeping between the pages of many dangerous books. I also found a cipher that the prior had left on his desk in the scriptorium. When I deciphered it, the message pointed me to a freshly disturbed grave in the cemetery. I convinced Brother Volkbert to dig up the grave in question. And what did you find inside? Occult tools that Ferenc had hidden. Why hide them? And why leave the note? Well, I suspect he hid them in case the Baron made good on his threat to summon Inquisitors to Kirsau. The note was likely left for his fellow occult enthusiasts back in Hungary in case he was taken away. The book was borrowed from the University of Pex. Prior Ferenc feared loss of his status, his life, and even God's grace. Men have killed for less. How might the prior have accomplished the deed? Well, he may have killed the baron with a silver rod. The prior uses it in performing his rituals, and there are traces of blood on it. Well, if that was the weapon, it has a certain dramatic propriety, at least. Well, it will be a challenge to condemn a prior for murder, but if that is where the evidence leads, the archdeacon should see the wisdom in it. Are there any others you suspect? Uh, no, I have found no other suspects. You have brought a worthy mystery before this court, Andreas. I pray to God we have granted you the insight you need to face the coming challenge. Yeah, I hope so too. Thank you, Your Majesty. I am prepared to meet the day. Before you go, Andreas, there is one more thing to consider. You will be summoned to the Archdeacon to tell him what you know. But you need not tell him everything. They're really, like, they're working really hard to, like, extremely lay out how this is going to work and what your options are. I feel, yeah. I am feeling maybe a little bit condescended to. Oh, believe me, I know. There is a place for a noble lie. This is not one of them. <laughs> Socrates' face of consternation. Why? The Baron is dead. All the people with motive to kill him suffered, either directly or indirectly, from his wickedness. Simply mentioning a name to the Archdeacon may, end may endanger them, whether they had anything to do with the murder or not. Right. No point in throwing everyone waist deep into shit. I protest any attempt at deception, but you must ultimately follow your own conscience, Andreas. Little time remains before you must uh, stand before the Archdeacon. Use it wisely. <sighs> yeah, I'll do my best. Until we meet again, Andreas, God be with you. And also with you, your imaginary majesty.
That sounds like the name of like a, a prog rock album. <laughs> All right, time to get back to work. And we do have, we have apparently a very important morning ahead of us because it sounds like this morning may be all we get. Yeah, and so we should spend it at the spinning circle. I think, um, you're, I think you're probably right. I think we're going to get good information there and maybe a little bit. Uh, man, it's hard for me to imagine being able to build another case so quickly, though. I don't know. We'll see. We're certainly yeah, going to try. It, it, it might firm up because they said that prior fearing is, is going to be a difficult one to, you know, that it's going to be a challenge. It might give us some, something that firms it up. Maybe. Who knows? Um, there are, I know we're probably, I'm assuming, going to be wrapping up. Yeah, I think, at, I think hour, this but, is where we're But what, uh, were those books, like, were you able to look at them before like that? Or did they have the little yeah. icons before? Yeah, those, okay. are, those are exactly the same state they've been in the whole game. Okay, that's that's how we that's how we knew that one of them was the key of Solomon. That's how observant I am. <laughs> You're the one who noticed when we saw it was the key of Solomon and knew what it was. You are an asset to this project, Amabel. Okay. You will you, by the end of the by the end of it. I hope to have you believing that. All right, that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. It seems like uh, we're we're heading up on the actual trial portion of this. And I'm very nervous that we have missed information. Uh, but when you come back next time, we're going to do our best to fill all those hope. Hmm. Caught myself. Caught myself what? in the what? middle of it. We're going to try our best to, to, to patch over all those gaps in our knowledge. And we'll, and we'll see you then. <laughs>